Ugh. Keep hydrated. Hello, my belly dance friends, and welcome to my channel. Today, my friend Solidia Minad, also known as Evan Blackness, will be joining us to tell me about her experience as a belly dancer, a teacher, as well as her perspective of the belly dance community as a person of color. So Lydia hails from Florida, but currently teaches out of San Antonio and through online classes. I met Solidia in the last half year through a mutual event that we performed at via our mutual friend Jasmine Amazing. She's a beautiful fusion artist, she does theatrical dance, and she fuses a lot of different really cool dance styles together to create her own aesthetic. She organizes events, she recently organized an online platform for a belly dance hot flood that I got to be a part of. It was really well organized, it was really fun, and it brought a lot of the community together during a time when we're all having to, well, you know, we're still having to do the Zoom thing, Still quarantine time, but I'm very excited to visit. So without further ado, here's the Lydia. Hi, Lydia. Okay. Thanks for having me. Absolutely, of course. <laughs> <laughs> How's your quarantine going? Uh, it's okay. <laughs> it's, going. it's given me, it's given me a lot of time to put things into perspective and to practice, <laughs> basically. <laughs> Making the most out of it. Nice. <laughs> yeah, you have to. <laughs> well, I've been wanting to um, get to chat with you for a while, so I'm super excited to get to ask you kind of a little, some pretty basic questions, but I, I'm excited we get to learn more about you today because I've seen you perform all over the place. You are like a mover and a shaker. You organize stuff too and like bring things together and it's just really awesome. So I'm really grateful that you're here and a part of this community. Yes, happy to be here. <laughs> so how did you become interested in uh, belly dance in particular or what we're now trying to refer to more as transnational dance? Oh, well, I I think it's a funny story because um, I was actually introduced to it by my best friend from Florida. She was, had been dancing when I met her for almost like 14 years already. Um, and we were actually, <laughs> I mean, a lot of people don't know this about me, but I used to teach high school. Uh, high school ELA and we were like down the hallway from each other and we were the youngest we were the youngest teachers there and we were like oh my god we're the same age you want to hang out <laughs> so uh she was like yeah um do you want to come to a show and I was like uh yeah I want to go to a show or whatever and so not knowing that this was going to be a restaurant show being a middle eastern restaurant and show she meant a gig and by a gig it meant her gig <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and she comes out of the back room and like there's like the smoke machines going off and she has her isis wings on and i'm just like who Whoa. is this you teach you teach biology what is this <laughs> Yeah, and so that's how she introduced me to it. She kind of just threw it threw at my face, basically, and I was like, "Yeah, this is amazing." It's just hit. It's just history from there. We went to our. I went to my first uh, belly dance convention in Miami, the Miami, Miami belly dance convention, and I took my first workshops. It was like three days of just torture. <laughs> 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 and it was totally worth it and I have not stopped dancing since then like it's just been full-blown just dancing 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 so I really have to thank her, her name's Ashley Bayon right for her introducing it to me because I wouldn't be here if she hadn't like just kind of like whoa hey here you go <laughs> oh that's great I love hearing Billy dance stories like how you get into it because there's always something super special or super random like that I feel like that people are just kind of suddenly fully immersed like you were in belly dance oh god i'm surrounded by i'm in a, I'm in a restaurant there's ice swings yeah all the things oh, that's so great yes it's like it was, oh, a, it was amazing <laughs> yes exactly <laughs> so you're currently yeah. teaching belly dance that's uh but I, as i understand it you teach a lot of different styles of dance is that correct um, okay, so I I kind of like, I like to teach the basics because without the basics, obviously we wouldn't be able to even do half of what we do. Right. Um, and then with the basics, I kind of incorporate different styles to see like, because we have, the students are so diverse, like not everybody likes the same thing. 
So I kind of just incorporate different styles for the different types of students that I have. For like the older, curvier student, students, they love the melody style. And for the younger students, they like the fusion and things like that and the oriental. And then for the ones that are like just fully into it, they like everything. They want this, they want some of this, and then they want to fuse it with cumbia, and then they want to dance with Afro, uh, Afro beats and things like that. So <laughs> I kind of just do the basics and then give them a little bit of a little bit of what I know from each style and then they, they take it from there. Like my, I feel like my job is to introduce them and then after that they kind of just go their own way and then I can guide them with however or whatever they want to know as much as I know as I could give them. <laughs> that's great, yeah, that's so cool. I think that's the, one of the things I love most about belly dance is that you can like, I mean, not maybe not everyone would agree, but I think it's really great that you can just kind of learn a bunch of basic steps and then you can incorporate that movement into music that maybe isn't normally associated with belly dance or incorporate mm -hmm. dance moves from around the world so that you can kind of make it more for you or for your body or for what you're feeling so that you can actually express mm -hmm. yourself however you want i just ugh, it's one of my favorite things about belly dance yeah. same yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I guess that kind of brings me to my next question, which you may have already answered, but is there something in particular that speaks most to you about um, belly dance when you're teaching, when you're performing? Um, is there anything about it that you just absolutely never want to be without? Belly dance just speaks to me differently than any other dance that I've ever experienced, I guess. I've, I've been doing belly dance longer than I've done any other dance, if I can say that. Um, it just it's just it's just different it just speaks to me differently i from what i've learned over the past past few years is that the originators of belly dancing or rock sharky or whatever you want to call it 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 was purposeful the way they dance was purposeful to the music it's almost like their bodies are the music and it's just portraying what the musicians are playing and that's really it's complex, but it's just so, it's simple and complex at the same time. So it just blows your mind. And it's like, oh my God, this is, this is amazing. Like just simple dooms and texts with your hips. is just, I've never seen that in any other dance. It's just amazing how you can just express music and express yourself at the same time with belly dance. It's, it's, it's great. It's, it's so complex. It's so multifaceted. It's so inclusive. It's just, it's just one of the best dances in the world. I'm sorry that I have to say that. <laughs> it, it is. I totally empathize. I feel the same way. <laughs> yeah, so that's what it is. You had mentioned um, the inclusiveness of this community, and I know that we were um, just talking about how we feel really comfortable within it in light of um, the resurgence and kind of uh, really aggressive Black Lives Matter movement that's happening right now. Are you seeing any particular things within our dance community or have you had any particular experiences that you um, feel are contributing to a lack of awareness, especially during um, mm -hmm. a time when we're trying to be more inclusive of people of color and making sure that we are in fact a community together? Um, so far, I've actually seen a lot of people uh, planning things, planning to put things into action. Like I've seen master teachers actually ask their students, their black and people of color students, like, what is it that I need to do for you? And for really like reaching out, which I, so I was like, whoa, that's, that's a huge step. Yeah. So I was like, that's, that's great. I've had people contact me and they want to collaborate and things like that. And I'm like, that's, that's cool. Cause I've been collaborating with a, a really diverse group of people, you included. And, um, so I'm like, okay, that's great. Um, the next step though is, would be after all of this is done, if it continues, that's the only thing that matters is that if we keep including, uh, dancers that look completely different from one another make uh, have different styles they're from different places female male trans everybody it has to just keep continuing after this is not even in the news anymore that's what's important I think 
a lot of people are taking the steps in the right direction. I have to say that, like in a positive note, everybody, white, black, Middle Eastern, everybody in the belly dance community has said or done so. Well, the ones that I follow, anyway. <laughs> they, <laughs> they've actually taken steps to talk about it, to share their side of the story and things like that. So yeah, I think we are actually stepping up and doing it. So yeah, I definitely agree something is happening. We'll see what happens in the next few months with it and everything. It just has to be in the physical, like live dance setting. Cause you know, with quarantine and everything, not able to do what we've been doing <laughs> right now. So I understand if nothing happens in the next month or two months, like I understand. I totally get it. It's just from now, like in the future. So yes, I think people are taking the appropriate steps in our belly dance community to make it better. I think they are. That's really good to hear because I feel like from what I've seen and the discussions that I've had as well, a lot of people are stepping up and like, trying to become more aware mm -hmm. of what's going on in their environment, what they're doing within their environment to cause any sort of negative situation and just trying to be aware of being more inclusive, even if we already kind of assume that our community is. I think really honestly, from what I have experienced and what the stories that I've heard that are similar is that there are a lot of microaggressions going on or subtle racism going on. Like they'll say nice things about the Asian or the black dancer, but then not invite them back to whatever it is that they were dancing at and things like that. And I know a few of the dancers that I know, they picked up on those microaggressions and then they stopped working with those people. So I think we gotta keep doing that, stop giving them what they want just because, you know, oh, I'm the restaurant older, or I own this venue, so you have to give me the dancers that I want. No. So you gotta stop doing that. And then if you do kind of sense that, you have to you have to either step up or step out. Like say something about it, or again, just don't do business with them anymore because it's, it's actually encouraging the microaggressions. The only way to get restaurant gigs and stuff more diverse is to just not participate with people that ask for specific types of dancers. It's not even about just black or Asian or white dancers or Middle Eastern passing in dancers, people have said, oh, she can't dance here because she's too fat or, oh, she's too skinny. She doesn't have boobs. Like, why is that even a, a, a factor? Like, literally this girl had like 10 years of dance experience and she couldn't dance there because she was too skinny. Like, that doesn't make any sense, you know? So like, when you sense it and you see it, just say something or just, hey, we can't do business anymore because I don't, I don't roll like that. And then with that, we have to make our own spaces, right? So like with uh, the shows that we do, like with Jasmine Amazing, Amazing Effects, she, the shows that she put on, very diverse. She did that on purpose. She was like, oh, here's Blair and here's Devin and here's Lydia and all these other amazing performers because, you know, belly dance doesn't look like just this one type of person or a variety show doesn't look like just this one type of person. So we got to start making our own spaces. Like when the quarantine is over, we got to go and put count our pennies and start just making our own spaces and just doing all of that. Cause then that way we can do what we want and we don't have anybody over here saying, oh, well, this type of dancer is better or she looks aesthetically pleasing, so let's hire her, you know? So we just, we gotta work work on doing that. Uh, so Lydia, thank you yeah. so much for sharing all this information with us. Do you have any upcoming classes or workshops or anything that I can link people to so that they can find your classes as soon as possible, even though we're not in the classroom technically yet? No, that's fine. I'm doing all online that right now just to be safe um, until everything is a little bit more certain about what's going on in the outside world. I, I'm on the team with Wanna Go Fit LLC. They have a Facebook page. I do the Tuesdays, Tip Top Tuesdays with them, Thumping Thursdays, which is belly dance. And then um, most Saturdays we do like the R&B and hip hop, hip hop fusion belly dance workouts. So oh my God, that sounds so fun. Really fun. fun. Oh, it is, it is, it is. And it's all 90s R&B and hip hop. So it's just, it's like that whole decade of just amazing music that actually really complements a lot of belly dance moves, which is weird. Cause I'm like, oh, I would have yeah. never put 90s R&B and belly dance. It was like, oh, this actually works. 
<laughs> it's amazing and I really want to take it. <laughs> it's, it's a workout. Um, the moves are very basic, but it's it's just so fun. The energy is fun because and people enjoy the music when they can relate to the music. It's just way more fun. So I'm just yes. like, okay. So that's what I'm doing right now. It's all online and it's all very affordable. So we making it work, making it work for the people who want to be fit and want to dance and love on themselves. Yes, the dream. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much, Lydia, for joining us today and for uh, telling us all about your belly dance journey and what you're up to today. And mm -hmm. yeah, just it's really awesome to get to visit with you. And I'm excited to see what you're going to bring to dance soon again because you always bring things. Yes, yeah, thank you for having me. I hope I answered all your questions well, and I really enjoyed actually talking to you. I really yes, did. Yes, I've enjoyed it so much. I hope we get to visit again on the panel soon <laughs> because I feel like I have a lot oh, yeah. of questions for you. <laughs> oh, I'm here, so don't worry. I'm here whenever you need me. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> So much love to Lydia for having this discussion about her belly dance journey and also her journey within the dance community as a person of color. I know that many of us right now are trying to educate ourselves and become more aware of how we may be perpetuating some negative racial biases, stereotypes, and that we want to break that cycle so that we can create a more healthy, more inclusive, more involved community. If you have any stories involving your dance community and how you as a person of color or ally have seen any sort of discrimination nation or unfair treatment, please comment below and be a part of the education of our entire community. We all have something to contribute. All right, that's it, you guys. I'm going to link all of Salidia's information on want to go fit classes online and workshops that are coming up soon down below. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing, the little red button. And if you have any dance related content that you would like seen on this channel, please comment below. I'd love to hear from you. I want to know what you want to see. As as always, we'll have a tutorial on Wednesday from a very secret returning guest dancer who will be showing us some elegant gig makeup tips. And next Sunday, we will have another special belly dance topic. Alright guys, that's it. Thanks for watching.